Memory playoff finish of all time. Manning beats Brady. Number eight. Setting aside some of the Super Bowls the Patriots were involved in, for me, that game was the most dramatic playoff game that the Patriots have ever been engaged in. We really understate how cuckoo bananas the entire thing was. This is a game in which you can't explain what happened by saying, well, this quarterback is better than that quarterback. By the 2006 playoffs, the Peyton Manning-Tom Brady rivalry was at full tilt, but Brady had won six of the first eight meetings, including both postseason matchups. Be sick time, be sick time. That's right, that's right. Hey, let's do it today. It's the typical, well, the Colts and it's Manning going to ever beat Brady and the Patriots. Manning throws a pick six to Asante Samuel down 18. You're like, okay, good night. That's that. Things are not going the Colts' way early. 21 to 3, you got Tom Brady even on the road. You consider the record, you consider the history between the two teams. If you're a Patriots fan, you feel pretty good about booking your flight to Super Bowl 41. How can you possibly think at that point that they're going to win that game? You just can't. The Colts just aren't here. It's halftime, and I am at my computer writing the article, and I remember thinking, same old story, Brady and Belichick, own Manning, what's new? There's 30 minutes of football to be played, a couple of touchdowns, and you can get right back in this game. And then crazy things happen. In the second half, the Colts closed the gap with the help of two bizarre touchdowns. And he will fake the ball to a die. Looks for Dan Klecko. He's got it. Touchdown, Dan Klecko. Touchback right. Fumble the freaking football as it goes down. Touchdown. They say the Colts got it. Jeff Saturday got it. Saturday. With 2.17 left, the Colts trailed by three. Manning had 80 yards to transform his legacy. Peyton Manning, who at the time was known as this all-time loser, playing like an all-time winner. Holy mackerel, what a throw by Peyton Manning. The narrative all season for this team was they can't run the ball. They can't run the ball. It's all about Peyton. And what do they do? Give it to Joseph right up the middle. Touchdown! He ran right up the middle and scores with a minute left. And the Colts take the lead for the first time in the game. But I remember right then I was looking at the clock and I said, they still got two timeouts, and they got over a minute to go, and they got Tom Brady at quarterback. When you consider the history, I can understand why Peyton Manning was sitting on the sidelines going, please let this be our year, let this be our year. It was out of his hands. It wasn't just Peyton getting the monkey off his back. I think he was getting the, the two-ton gorilla off his back. Didn't play that great to start the game. Comeback 18, game-winning 80-yard drive. Uh, it just took everything and threw it off the shoulder, and then it was like, okay, cool, did that. You could not have written a script better than this. 